We're in week seven, going into week eight of the lockdown in Bradford uh, as a result of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So all the social distancing rules are still in place. Um, schools are closed. The vast majority of businesses are closed. There's a real anxiety about what the impact of this pandemic will be um, in terms of people's health, in terms of the economy, in terms of the impact on vulnerable children, on schools, and especially on communities like ours, I think. We normally live in the suburbs, in the slums, with the poorest housing conditions. We are the most inferior of, of the lowest, basically. Everybody looks down on us, anywhere we are. I work here on behalf of Kaskasan, it's a Roma charitable company, and uh, I, I am the link between the school and, and the local Roma community, and I help make sure that Roma kids are engaged and they are successful, they feel happy in the school environment. Organizations, they're wary of trusting schools, they're wary of trusting social workers or hospitals, and my sense is they're very worried about being judged or being punished for who they are. So it takes a long time to build up relationships with families. And that's built on not telling people what to do or how to behave. It's built on being, I believe, consistently friendly, consistently professional, consistently open, and working with those families so their children can be successful. And the minute you start to see children being successful, people's expectations change. Hi, <laughs> what year group are you collecting for? Uh, how many kids are you? Alex is year two. Uh -huh. And Ramona is year three. Ah, Ramona in my class. Okay, I'll just pass that one to you and then can okay. you explain that? Ramona is. A Józsika is, és a Sanyika is tudnak itt tanulni. És itt van most a, az elmúlt hetekben a feladat, ez az NHS-szel kapcsolatos téma volt, tehát hogy az emberek életben tudjanak maradni most a koronavírus kapcsán. How are you? You're right. Oh my god, we haven't seen each other for a long time. So you came to pick up your home learning pack, right? What's the thing that really bothers you about being in a lockdown right now? Not going to school. So you're missing that, right? Okay, boys, so these are books that came from our library last year before we got the new books in. So, help yourself, there'll be something. Yeah, that's a very good choice. Maybe as many as 50% of our children have got no access to internet-based home learning. So for the last week, we've been printing and making home learning packs for each year group and family learning packs so that families can take part in activities together there's a socially distanced collection point there. I had no idea how many people would, would come to take that offer up, but last week, 200 families came in the space of two, two hours, so it was very, very busy. You can also, at that point, collect food, you can collect books, and you can collect toys. Kids all okay? Yeah, yeah. Have they found the website and everything? Yeah. yeah. We're operating uh, remote learning via YouTube, our own website. Have you got the YouTube channel? Yeah. What do you think? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Uh, and if you've got the website? Yeah. So you can find it, have you got enough stuff to do? Yeah. Okay. In the Google search box, you put the school name and home learning, and then you will get the direct link to the page. Today here we've got food parcels being distributed, laptops are being taken out to vulnerable families, and, um, and also we are doing an artistic project, a music project uh, with, with, with Roma kids. So we are trying to do everything we can to make sure that families uh, can find their own peace of mind during the lockdown. You remember the first verse? Yeah. yeah. My boys, my girls must read and buy birds. I'm a king, I'm a G of reading terminology. Well, what was the original goal of this reading. rap song? Yeah, to promote reading, exactly. Mm -hmm. Today, I want you to practice the first verse of the song that we drafted before yeah. schools yeah. closed down. This afternoon, I will go to your homes and I will listen to uh, how, how well you can do it now. We are providing an emergency food service for anywhere between 150 and 200 families a day. The food parcels are going out. Several family members lost their jobs. Many of them have the universal credit stopped. They don't pass um, the so-called habitual residence test through which they examine your status in the country, whether you live here permanently or not. 
because people who live here permanently will be entitled to benefits. People who don't live here permanently won't be. This week there's 21 families on the list for food parcels and 170 lunches go out every three days. We've developed a bit of a reputation for being very open and very welcoming of families from all over the world, but especially the East European and Roma community. Hiya, how are you? I think we spoke over the phone. My name is Juice, you remember me? So how many children do you have here in the house now? Ten, ten children. Do you have any work, mom? No, at this time we don't work. No work. My, my, my place is closed. Hey, most fair back till he knew that poor house bought kill men and wish go out to be never do me minky shabba virus by my oscoys. Without to the Nakun Kintes, the mothers. Persze, nálad van otthon a papír, akkor mindjárt átmegyünk és megmutatod a papírt, jó? És akkor amiben tudok, nagyon szívesen segítek, Adri, jó? They often arrive in the country with um, very little experience of school as children and as uh, parents. Um, They've faced a lot of discrimination in their home countries, whether that's uh, Hungary, whether it's the Czech Republic, the Slovak Republic. Hi, Harriet. Um, hey. I just wanted to let you know that we are arriving to the Turk family in a few minutes. Hi, Miss Crossley. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi. Okay. Yeah. So the Turk family is wondering about food next Monday. Should they send packed lunch yeah. for the kids? Please don't worry about it. Don't let that be a, a concern because obviously this is very different circumstances. Then the meeting got taken meg. Az iskolában, hogy a gyerekek most a, a lockdown ideje alatt mégis csak járhassanak a kiskolába. Igazi Lukas véget, meg ugye baró betegés. Igazi őtől nem tudtak úgy, úgy pihenni se, hogy kéne. Ha a iskolába jártak, úgy tudott pihenni is. Neki az nem jó az a zaj. Lukácsnak mi a betegsége? A halkilinc és horvadása van. Az, hogy a barának körültünk is, hogy, hogy felhívta, az, hogy menni kell ő neki kiskolába. I don't think there's anything that's much more powerful or empowering than a parent recognizing the success of their own children. Miss Crossley yeah. would like to speak to you. Hello, Miss Crossley. Yeah. How are you? How are you doing, mate? Have you been doing a lot of work, Kevin? Yeah, I help. Sometimes from all the Alex and Joseph with the work. You know how to access the resources though. If you get stuck, you get in touch with me. I think this means a lot to the kids that we are visiting today. And, and I'm hoping we can visit more and more kids as well during the lockdown. I really want to be in touch with the students that I work with. Uh, it's very important for the Roma kids not to fall out from this uh, um, evolution that they started at the school. The Dennis részt fog venni ebben a zenében, és nagyon örülnék, ha a gyerekek is a táncol. Tudod, mert csinálunk egy videóklippet is hozzá, tudod? Hi Milan, hi David! Oh, so good to see you guys! I was wondering if you guys had time to practice a little bit. So hey, Mr. Len Lee, this is my apology. Didn't do my homework, I was busy with astrology. That reading terminology, giving me a prodigy. I'm a king, I'm a G, a vivid physiology. <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited. I, I want to do it, you know. I can't wait. <laughs> what we have coming through our door are children who are absolutely keen to learn, who are absolutely keen to experience as much as school can offer them, who really want to go on to achieve important things. You know, the possibility that growing up they could be effective proud adults. That's what it's all about and I do really believe that's how cities change. If you read, you can learn these kinds of words, right? And if you learn these kinds of words, these words will open doors for you in life. That's my story as well. I was born in a very poor slum, yeah, in a, in a, in a ghetto if you like. Yeah, but I'm the only one in my family who got educated. Hey, Mr. Langley, this is my apology. You didn't do my homework. I was busy with astrology. That reading terminology you given me apology. And I can, I'm a trick of uh, physiology. Yes! Physiology. Yeah, you're my pa. Thank you very much. Sanyina kudje bar van a kis hangfal, ő rát és szára maga vannak a telefon, ő tan. Rázzá fagukat így, a Sanyi. Csak botánk legyen neki. These guys, speak fluent English now, as you can see. Um, they, they, they have very different perspectives in, in, in front of them than their parents had already. And, and these kids will have a very different reality. Now, the lockdown 
can cut this plan across, right? It can be a big obstacle. They may sink as a result of this and fall back, but we don't want that. We want them to, to feel successful even during the lockdown and, and to be full of optimism and hope. And through these activities, I think we can feed all of that hope.